Canadont biostratigraphy. Canadonts are an extinct class of animals whose feeding apparatuses called teeth or elements are common microfossils found in strata dating from the stage 10 of the Furongian, the fourth and final series of the Cambrian, to the recent stage of the late Triassic. These elements can be used alternatively to or in correlation with other types of fossils, graptolites, trilobites, ammonites. Paleozoic canadonts. Cambrian canadonts. It is suggested that the Econodontus nichpeakensis can be a marker of the stage 10 of the Furongian, the fourth and final series of the Cambrian. In 2006, a working group proposed the first appearance of Cordylodus andresi. Currently, the first appearance of E. nichpeakensis is favored by many authors because it is globally widespread and is independent of faces known from continental rise to peritidal environments. The Eoconodontus nichpeakensis proposal would also incorporate a non-biostratigraphic marker, a carbon isotope excursion the herb event occurs in the lower part of the E. nichpeakensis range. Ordovician canadons Early Ordovician The base of the Tremidocian, the lowest stage of Ordovician, is defined as the first appearance of Iapetignathus fluctivagus at the GSSB section in Newfoundland. No canadont species is associated with the Floyan, the second stage of the Ordovician. Middle Ordovician The base of the Depingian, the third stage of the Ordovician, is defined as the first appearance of Baltoniatus triangularis. The base of the Darywillian, the fourth stage of the Ordovician, lies just above the North Atlantic Microzarcodina parva canadont zone. The base also lies in the upper part of the North American Histiodella altifrens canadont zone. The White Rock stage refers mainly to the early Middle Ordovician in North America. It is often used in the older literature in a global sense. The White Rock stage is given a range from 471.8 ka, 472, to 462 MYA, spanning close to 10 million years. Officially, its start is defined by the potentially lowest occurrence of the canadont Protoprioniatus, Aranda, or Baltoniatus triangularis. Late Ordovician No canadont species is associated with the Sandian, the Cation, nor with the Hernantian, the fifth, sixth, and seventh and final stages of the Ordovician. Baltoniatus jerdy has been found in the early Sandian Bromide Formation in Oklahoma, United States. Silurian canadons Andovery The Andovery epoch lasted from 443.8 plus 1.5 to 433.4 plus 2.8 MYA and is subdivided into three stages, the Redanian lasting until 440.8 million years ago, the Aronian lasting to 438.5 million years ago, and the the Telekian late Andovery of Estonia can be defined by five canadont zones Terraspathodus, Eoponatus SSBN, 1, P. Eoponatus SSBN, 2, P. Amorphognathodes angulatus, P. A. Lenarti, and P. A. Lithuanicus. Wenlock The Wenlock, which lasted from 433.4 plus 1.5 to 427.4 plus 2.8 MYA is subdivided into the Shanewoodian to 430.5 million years ago and Homerian ages. The Shanewoodian Wenlock is defined between the Acrotarch Biozone 5 and the last appearance of Terraspathodus amorphognathoids. The global boundary stratotype point is in Hewleybrook in Apetal, UK. Ludlow, oh, 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 oh. the Ludlow lasting from 427.4 plus 1.5 to 423 plus 2.8 MYA comprises the Gorstian stage, lasting until 425.6 million years ago, and the Ludfordian stage. Predali Devonian Canadons Early Devonian The early Devonian lasts from 419.2 plus 2.8 to 393.3 plus 2.5 and begins with the Lichkovian stage, which lasts until the Pragen. 
This spans from 410.8 plus 2.8 to 407.6 plus 2.5 and is followed by the Emsian, which lasts until the Middle Devonian begins 393.3 plus 2.7 million years ago. Middle Devonian The Middle Devonian comprises two subdivisions, the Iphelian giving way to the Giveshian 387.7 plus 2.7 million years ago. Late Devonian Finally, the Late Devonian starts with the Frasnian, 382.7 plus 2.8 to 372.2 plus 2.5, followed by the Fanian subdivision, the beginning and end of which are marked with extinction events. This lasted until the end of the Devonian, 358.9 plus 2.5 million years ago. During that stage, a biologic event occurred Upper Kelwasser extinction of all Ancyrodella and Ozarcodina and most Pomatolpes, Polygnathus and Ancyrognathus. The Famian 372.2 plus 1.6 MYA is defined by a GSSB golden spike located at Kaumeac Quarry, Montagne Noir, France where there is a biologic abundant occurrence of Pomatolpes triangularis. Carboniferous canadonts, canadonts, Mississippian, also known as Lower Carboniferous. The Turnasian, the oldest age of the Mississippian, contains eight canadont biozones: the zone of Nathodus pseudosemiglaber and Scaliognathus ancoralis, the zone of Nathodus semiglaber and Polygnathus communis, the zone of Dolomy baucherti, the zone of Nathodus typicus and Siphonodella isosticha. The zone of Siphonodella quadruplicata and Patrignathus andersoni, upper zone of Patrignathus andersoni, the lower zone of Patrignathus andersoni, the zone of Patrignathus variabilis, the zone of Patrignathus crassus, the Vicean, the second age of the Mississippian, contains four canadont biozones, the zone of Locria nidosa, the zone of Locria mononidosa, the zone of Nathodus bilinitis, the zone of Nathodus Texanus, the Serpicovian, the third or youngest age of the Mississippian, includes four canadont biozones. The zone of Nathodus postbilinitis, the zone of Nathodus balandensis, the zone of Locria cruciformis, the zone of Locria zeglari, Pennsylvanian, also known as Upper Carboniferous, the Bashkirian, the oldest age of the Pennsylvanian contains six biozones based on canadont index fossils. The zone of Neognathodus atakinsis, the zone of Declinognathodus marginatosis, the zone of Idiognathodus sinuosus, the zone of Neognathodus ascinsis, the zone of Idiognathoides sinuatus, the zone of Declinognathodus noduliferus, the base of the Muscovian, the second stage in the Pennsylvanian, is close to the first appearances of the canadonts Declinignathodus dontsianus and Iognophoids postsulcatus. A proposal is to use the first appearance of the canadont Diplignathodus elismarensis, but since the species is rare and its evolution relatively unknown, it has not been accepted yet. The Muscovian can biostratigraphically be divided into five canadont biozones, the zone of Neognathodus roundi and Streptognathodus cancellosus, the zone of Neognathodus medixultimus and Streptognathodus cancinus, the zone of Streptognathodus dissectus, the zone of Neognathodus uralicus, the zone of Declinognathodus dontsianus, the top of the Casamuvian. The third stage in the Pennsylvanian is close to the first appearance of the canadon Streptognathodus nethus. The Casamuvian is subdivided into three canadont biozones, the zone of Idiognathodus torotsianus, the zone of Idiognathodus sagittatus, the zone of Streptognathodus excelsus, and Streptognathodus macchini, the base of the G. Ilian. The youngest age of the Pennsylvanian is at the first appearance of Streptognathodus nethus. The top of the stage, the base of the Permian system, is at the first appearance of Streptognathodus isolatus within the Streptognathus wabonsensis chronocline. The Gigelian stage is subdivided into five biozones based on the canadont genus Streptognathodus. The zone of Streptognathodus wabonsensis and Streptognathodus bellus, the zone of Streptognathodus simplex, 
The zone of Streptognathodus virgilicus. The zone of Streptognathodus vitali. The zone of Streptognathodus simulator. Permian canadons. Ciceralian. The base of the acelian stage is at the same time the base of the Ciceralian series and the Permian system. It is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Streptognathodus isolatus first appear. The top of the Acelian stage, the base of the Sacmarian stage, is at the first appearance of canadonc species Streptognathodus postfusus. The Acelian contains five canadonc biozones, the zone of Streptognathodus barscovi, the zone of Streptognathodus postfusus, the zone of Streptognathodus fusus, the zone of Streptognathodus constrictus, the zone of Streptognathodus isolatus, the base of the Sacmarian stage, is laid with the first appearance of Streptognathodus postfusus in the fossil record. The top of the Sacmarian, the base of the Artinskian, is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Sweetognathus whitei and Mesogondolelobacelli first appear. The base of the Artinskian stage is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Sweetognathus whitei and Mesogondolelobacelli first appear. The top of the Artinsky and the base of the Cungurian is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Neostreptognathodus pinivi and Neostreptognathodus exculptus first appear. The base of the Cungurian stage is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Neostreptognathodus pinivi and Neostreptognathodus exculptus first appear. The top of the Cungurian, the base of the Rhodian, and the Guadalupian series is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Junagondolella nanginkensis first appear. The Cungurian contains three canadont biozones, the zone of Neostreptognathodus sulcoplicatus, the zone of Neostreptognathodus prei, the zone of Neostreptognathodus pinivi, Guadalupian, the base of the Rhodian is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Ginagondolella nankingensis first appears. The top of the Rhodian, the base of the Wordian stage, is at the first appearance of fossils of Ginagondolella acerata. The base of the Wordian stage is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Ginagondolella acerata first appear. The top of the Wordian, the base of the Capitanian stage, is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where Ginagondolella post serata first appears. The base of the Capitanian stage is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where fossils of Ginagondolella post serata first appear. The top of the Capitanian, the base of the Wookiepingian and Lopingian series is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where Clarkina post bittery post bittery first appears. The Capitanian contains three canadont biozones, the zone of Clarkina postbittery hongshuensis, the zone of Ginagondolella altudensis, the zone of Ginagondolella postserata, Lopingian. The base of the Wookiepingian stage is defined as the place in the stratigraphic record where Clarkina postbittery postbittery first appears. The top of the Wookiepingian, the base of the Changsingian, is at the first appearance of Canadon species Clarkina wangi. The base of the Changsingian stage is at the first appearance of Clarkina wangi. The top of the Changsingian, the base of the Induan stage, and the Triassic system is at the first appearance of Hindiatus parvus. Mesozoic canadons, canadons, early Triassic. The base of the Induan stage, which is also the base of the lower Triassic series, the base of the Triassic system, and the base of the Mesozoic Erathum is defined as the place in the fossil record where Hindiatus parvus first appears. The base of the Olnikian is at the lowest occurrence of Neospathodus wagini. It is defined as ending near the lowest occurrences of Cusella timorensis. Middle Triassic The base of the Anagen stage, also the base of the Middle Triassic series, the top of the Anagen, the base of the Ladinian, is at the first appearance of Neogondolella prehangarica. The Ladnian is defined by the first appearance of Bugirovignathus prehangaricus. Upper Triassic. The top of the Carnian, the base of the Norian, is at the Canadont biozones of Metapolignathus communisti or Metapolignathus primitius. The Norian stage begins at the base of the Canadont biozones of Metapolignathus communisti and Metapolignathus primitius. 
The top of the nori and the base of the Rishan is close to the first appearance of Misaikela SPP and Epigondolala Mashari. The Alanian, also known as Middle Norian, is a sub-age in the Upper Triassic. It begins with the first appearance of Cyprido della Multidentata. The stage ends with the first appearance of Cyprido della Bidentata.